Hey guys and welcome to today's video where I will be showing you Rocky's first week as an off-the-track thoroughbred. So the start of this week starts off a little bit repetitive with a lot of lunging but then it um, gets very exciting by the weekend because I bring Rocky into my work. I'm a vet so I brought him into the vet clinic where I work and then on Sunday we had our first ride. So I will start from the start. Over the course of the week, um, yeah, I was lunging him quite a lot. Um, I'd go out every morning and lunge him. Um, I started with just lunging with um, a halter and teaching him what woe means and just getting him used to being on the circle because he was a little bit trying to go in straight lines and then hitting the end of the rope and then turning and just kind of going quite straight lines. Um, and he also didn't respond to like me saying whoa so he just kept trotting and I was like whoa and he just kept trotting. <laughs> um, so we worked on that, we slowly got there. So clever, good boy, good boy. Isn't that nice? I also did some like turning on the forehand, getting him to cross over his back legs and like move away from the pressure, which he's really, really good at. So that was really good, just kind of teaching him to bend in his body. Um, on the lunge, I then put the tack on him. Um, Mackie very kindly sent a gorgeous new bridle for us, so got to use that on him. And Andrew, the person who owns the yard where I'm keeping Rocky, he um, lent me an, um, a spare saddle of his and a girth and everything like that. So I'm fully kitted out um, with a bit of a mismatch of my own stuff and a lot of borrowed stuff. Um, so big shout out to Andrew, thank you very much. So he had the saddle bridle on, didn't care less. Like, I guess sometimes when I am working with him, I think of him as like a horse I'm breaking in, but he is broken in, he has been ridden, you know, it's just a slightly different type of riding. So yeah, I kind of just need to keep remembering that. And I also, it's, I'll kind of get onto it when I, um, ride him for the first time but I really did not know how he was going to react like I just wasn't really sure I was like yeah I just didn't know what kind of response I was going to get but anyway you'll see that at the end of this video because that's the last day of the week and um, so then I moved on to lunging him with um Vienna reins that's what I use to break in horses to teach them um what the pressure and the bit means and to basically give them a mouth because Rocky doesn't really have much of a mouth um like he would never have needed to you know do lateral work and stretch down and all that kind of stuff so that's all a bit new to him he definitely finds it hard to stretch down and to relax in his neck um yeah, it's, it's getting there, but it's definitely a slow process and I don't want to rush him with it because not only does he not really understand stretching in that, um, he just doesn't have the muscles to do that um, because he was off work for almost a year and also because even when he was in work, he wasn't doing that type of work. So um, like it's actually physically almost impossible for him to trot with his head on the ground you know and hold a frame he's just not strong enough so we're just going to slowly work on that get his fitness get his strength up and then um ask for a little bit more so at the moment I'm happy if he's just like in a bit of a neutral head frame just basically I just I'm happy if his head isn't up in the air like a giraffe so anything other than giraffe I'm happy <laughs> so I just put them on really super loose at the start and then just slowly made them a little bit tighter so that he gets a little bit of contact on his mouth just getting him used to that pressure but yeah it wasn't um crazy I wasn't looking for um like a perfect frame or anything like that um it's definitely a work in progress so I lunged him for yeah Monday till Friday and then on Saturday we took 
him and Rosie into the vet clinic. So I will show you those clips now. Hey guys, so this is going to be part of um, Rocky's weekly kind of update video. So today is Saturday and today we are bringing Rocky and also my friend Alison, who I also work with, is bringing her horse to the clinic, the hospital where we work. And um, we're doing this to do their teeth. So it's just kind of easier to bring the horses to the clinic and then use the stocks there and stuff rather than lugging out all the dental equipment um, and then doing it just kind of out in the open. Especially because it was actually meant to rain today and it hasn't yet and my washing is out so it better not rain. <laughs> so we are bringing Rocky and Alison is my friend, her horse is named Rosie and Andrew who owns Diva, who owns the yard that we keep our horses at, is driving us. So that is, yeah, the story and who is involved. <laughs> so... Yeah, I also think I'm going to take x-rays of Rocky's feet because he's a little bit foot sore and I do think that's just because he has a little bit sensitive feet. He is a thoroughbred that is definitely a stereotype that they have sensitive feet. Um, but I just want to make sure I x-ray him, make sure there's nothing untoward going on and that can also guide the farrier when he puts shoes on. Had a lot of people a lot of people commenting please don't put shoes on Rocky like like it was going to hurt him or like it was like such a terrible thing and um, if you guys have followed my YouTube you know like Cal and Dali my horses at home they were competing barefoot for like most of the season they did get front shoes on at the very end of the season just because I was doing quite a bit of hacking um, and I just wanted to kind of support their feet a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I am totally for not shoeing unless I need to. Um, because pff, why spend the extra money if the horse doesn't need shoes? But in Rocky's case, he is foot sore on the hard ground with no shoes on. And that's not fair on him um, to have him sore. So if shoes will help support his feet and make him more comfortable, then that is what we're going to do. So that is the plan for today. Hopefully his teeth aren't too bad. Hopefully it's just a little, needs a little pair, a little, um, yeah, getting rid of any sharp bits. And yeah, I will bring you along. Um, I'm sure Andrew will be up for being in the videos, but we'll see if Alison, if we can get her in and talking. <laughs> Um, or not. So yeah, I'm gonna head to Andrew's now. Um, Rocky has never been in a float or a horse box before. He's only been in like a truck. So I'm just gonna load him before we actually need to go just to make sure he actually goes on. But he's been in starting gates, which is very, very similar. So hopefully he'll be fine. And so yeah, I'll see you when we get there. So here is the Rocky boy. Him and Diva are in love. They love each other, they hang out together all the time. And then poor Rosie, Alison's horse, is just left on her own. <laughs> Sorry, Rosie. Yeah, these two are bestos. Aren't you, good boy? Yeah, you good boy. Now, what do we think, guys? Have we lost any weight? I mean, still got the dump truck, but. Maybe a bit leaner on the tom. What do you think, Rocky? Rocky's like, not enough food, I'm not happy. Oi, hey, good boy. Oh, you love the camera. Bring your horse to work day at Bendigo Equine Hospital. <laughs> Good girl, Rosie. Good boy, Rocky boy. Oh, fun. 
So Rocky's just a little bit sleepy. Andrew's been helping us x-ray. Thank you, Andrew. A little, anything to say to the camera? Uh, he's looking beautiful. He's looking beautiful. Needs to keep him. Oh no, Andrew's trying to get me to keep him, guys. This is a bad influence. So we just x-rayed his feet, all looking grand. It's totally normal. So yeah, we'll get um, the farrier out to have a look. Oh, you're so sleepy. Oh, you're cute. So now it's time to do his teeth. What do you think of that? Check his height. Oh yeah, let's measure him now. So the official measurement is in and he is 16 one hands guys. Woo! That is 155 centimeters for those of you who like centimeters. 65. He's 16 one Allison. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Perfect for me. <laughs> So Rocky has his teeth done and he's woken up from his sedation. He was really good. I barely had to sedate him at all. And um, weren't you, sweetie? And Rosie is also done. Here she is. She's a little bit sleepier because <laughs> she just got done. Um, she had barely anything wrong with her because she's young. Um, she does have two wolf teeth, so we will pop them out at a later date. Um, but yeah, Rocky, he had, he had quite a few sharp edges, which you would expect. He's been out of work for a year, so yeah, he has about a year's worth of sharp edges. And um, so just file them down. He had a little bit of a hook on his top front molar on both sides. So just got rid of that. He had a little bit of food packing between his molars and his cheeks on one side. So I just have to keep an eye on that, but I file down the sharp edges there. So hopefully that won't happen as easily next time. Um, I'm just gonna check his microchip because I actually never did that um, because I should put him in the system here at work. Um, so yeah, very cutie, you good boy. So yeah, he was really good. Um, so now we have a nice blank slate um, to start writing. Yay! Um, and yeah, I got his ex. I extra his feet. Gonna send them off to the farrier. Um, the farrier that we'll be using is the farrier for the clinic. He's very, very good. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll send those on to him in case he wants to see. But there wasn't anything really exciting on them to be honest. Um, and yeah, just to make sure we get his feet nice and comfortable. Yeah, he gave me kisses. And then we're gonna pop back on the float. Um, he was very good on the float, Was seemed very relaxed. So hopefully he loads back up nicely and we can head home. Heading home. Where's Rosie? Super far away. Now we are home safe and sound. So with his newly filed teeth, um, it was time to get on Rocky. So on Sunday, um, today actually, I went down and I rode Rocky. So um, yeah, I'll insert those clips now. Today's the day guys, I'm getting on Rocky. Woo! He wasn't worked yesterday because he went to the clinic where I work and I did his teeth. You would have seen that um, in those clips just before this one but um yeah hopefully it's not too fresh it's also quite windy um but yeah i'm so excited i'm gonna give him a lunch and then yeah hopefully hop up and hopefully all goes well <laughs> honestly not really sure what to expect but um you know we'll see we'll see won't we <laughs> okay i'm gonna go and get him now so i'm just giving rocky a quick lunch before i get up on him he's still not completely got the hang of the lunging um i mean he's got lunging but um he finds relaxing his neck um quite difficult which is understandable because you know he wouldn't have had to do stuff like that when he was in work so yeah we're getting there slowly but surely but it's just going to be a little bit of a slower process which is no problem Here's Holly about to be crash test dummy. Oh, 
I thought it would be. He's too lazy to do anything. <laughs> Well, you're on leather now, not Wintec. Need some faffets. He doesn't. You need to try a trot pole. Good boy, Rocky. You good boy. Oh, look. He thinks he's a good boy. You are. Good boy. See ya, Rocky. So that was his first ride off the track. He was an absolute superstar. So good. So pleased with him. Um, I kind of thought he would be lazier than he is. He's actually not lazy at all. He was really sharp off the leg. Well, not so sharp, but you know, very responsive Um, keen to go. So yeah, I was really happy. Also, his trot is a lot comfier than I thought it would be. Um, because his feet are a little bit sore, he can be a little bit shuffly in the trot. Um, but when I was riding him, it didn't feel like that at all. It felt really nice. So pleased. Um, exciting things to come. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with just his temperament, how he just handled everything. He's just very, very chilled. And when I got on him, I just really wasn't sure how he'd react. But yeah, he reacted, of course, like a horse that has been broken in because he is broken in just not into like English writing. <laughs> so yeah, very, very pleased. Um, so what's on the agenda for next week? So I am going to keep riding him, working on a bit of flat work, might do some poles. Um, I'm not sure when I'm gonna jump him for the first time because yeah, he's never jumped before. And although I just want to jump him so badly, I know that I should get my basics and my flat work down before I aim him at jumps. So we're going to just work on, yeah, maybe introducing a little bit of like bending to the left and right, a little bit of like understanding the leg and kind of moving away from the leg and that kind of stuff. Um, just getting him used to the arena because he was very spooky at all the stuff on around the outside of the arena. Understandably, um, there's a lot of like barrels and stuff, so he was like, "What the heck is that?" Um, so yeah, just getting him used to that. Yeah, doing some trotting pulls, maybe some raised trotting pulls. That would be fun, and that would be good for getting him to stretch his head down and um, kind of work over his back. So that would be good. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll get some riding clips. I almost certainly will get some writing clips and I'll make another weekly update next week. I'm actually on call next weekend so we won't be able to do anything too exciting. I'll just be writing him at home but hopefully soon we'll start hacking him out and me and Andrew are going to bring him and Diva like cross-country schooling and like 
um, to Jump Club, which is like, um, they do like lessons and stuff. So yeah, he'll start getting out and about soon once we just kind of get the basics down a little bit. <laughs> I've literally ridden him once and I'm already planning like when our next day out is. But yeah, um, very, very pleased with him. And I cannot wait to see how he progresses. And I hope you guys are as excited as, as I am. So yeah, I will see you in the next video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of Rocky in the comments and how we handled everything. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.